Hey guys, um, I hope you're all doing super well. So today's video is going to be a what's in my um, carry on handbag. So this is the Gucci um, Boston um, bag. I think it's in the smaller size or it might be in the medium. I'm not sure. Um, so if you watched my previous video to this um, video, I'll actually link it down below. If you haven't seen that, you should go check that out. Um, I mentioned that I was traveling to Los Angeles for the summer. So I thought it would be fun to share what I carry with me on the plane. Um, I don't know. I kind of like these videos. I guess I'm a bit nosy <laughs> yeah so I guess I'm a bit nosy or not I don't know but I actually really enjoy a what's in my bag video so I thought this would be like a bit of um like a travel edition and also any tips for I mean you might get some ideas like to pack if you're traveling away as well or something I'm not sure okay so um so yeah I picked this bag up this was actually quick story this was actually um my first designer purchase handbag designer purchase um and yeah i picked this up from the um gucci store in on fifth avenue in new york um and yeah it's um a beautiful buy i've got like basically nowhere so that's the back it comes with this strap like a shoulder strap which is perfect and it has top handles as well so it's perfect for traveling so when i did first purchase it i was wearing it as a handbag as you know first designer bag it's pretty exciting um but yeah it just doesn't really fit into my lifestyle anymore um i do prefer miniature bags more you know smaller size it's a bit too big for um you know to fit into my lifestyle at the moment but i will, will not sell it because it was my first bag so i do use this for traveling um it comes in it does come in like the larger sizes as well if you were interested in like a duffel bag so this one's actually called the gucci boston bag um so yeah so let's get started on what's inside I try holding the bag up so you know you can see and I'm not going to go in any particular order I'm just going to pull out whatever's on top because it is quite full so and it does hold quite a bit um so firstly I have just a cap um yeah so this is just a Dodgers cap and the reason I pack a cap is because you know um I'm flying my flight is international so I'm flying from Australia to the USA which is a 14 hour flight which is quite long so I do pack a cap because I don't know what kind of state my hair is going to be in when I land so I always need this you know hair's a mess chuck on a cap and yeah you still look pretty good <laughs> with the cap on um so the next item is these which are I have to place this down just because it's so heavy Beats headphones, which I've shown this in my first luxury haul I did. So I love these. They're the um, wireless Bluetooth headphones. That's what they look like. I pick them up in the silver and I love these. You connect um, your Bluetooth um, wirelessly to your phone and these block out so much noise as well. And I do wear these even when I'm not listening to music and I'm trying to get some sleep on the plane. They block out like all the aircraft noise and all that. So yeah, love these. I definitely recommend these if, to anyone that's in the um, looking for headphones. Definitely check these out. They're amazing. Okay, so the next um, item I've got, I've got this clear case um, from, I'm not actually sure. Okay, it's Calvin Klein. I'm guessing I got um, like the sports bra and all that in there. So it's this little convenient little clear case. I'm not sure what the rules are for any other country, but in Australia, you need a clear case um, going through security for your um, aerosols and sprays. It needs to be in a clear case. So this is just absolutely perfect for me. So yeah, it's just a clear case and I've got, I've got dry shampoo. Um, need that. <laughs> yep. Um, I've got deodorant just um, from Nivea. So I need that with the minis. And I've also got a mini toothpaste and I've got my toothbrush in there as well. So, so yeah, that's that. Um, super convenient. Okay, next I've got sunglasses. So I've got it in this pouch here. 
Sunglasses are a must have for me as well, just because, yeah, again, I don't know what state I'm going to be in after a 14 hour flight. I just don't even know what I'm going to be in. So yeah, I've just got these sunglasses. Um, these I picked up, they're not designer, I picked them up from like a Korean boutique in Melbourne, so I won't be able to link these unfortunately. But yeah, I'll try and link as much as possible, but yeah, these are awesome. Love, love them. Um, next is, I have this little makeup pouch that I picked up in Bloomingdale's when I was in um, vacationing in Hawaii. So I just love the print on this. It's New York. It's the store on Madison Avenue. You know, the taxis and the little fashionable little mannequins. It's really, really cute. So I love that. Um, and what I keep in this usually is, I keep like electronical um like charges and all that this is the american so i'll just show you because i'm going to the usa so i did pick up a usa cable for my iphone i've got you know i've got earphones i need that i've got um a face moisturizer so it's a nighttime serum which is from so these which is a french brand um, yeah, really good if you're looking for um, new skincare. Definitely try out the Soothies brand. Really, really good. So I keep that in there. I always keep hydrated on the plane just because I get really dehydrated. So I'm always constantly drinking water and constantly moisturizing my face and my hands. Um, and I've also got this Chanel um, Coco Rouge Coco Shine. Um, super hydrating for anyone that's looking. So it has like a tinge of color, but yeah, super hydrating and that's from Chanel. Okay, I've got a couple other things in here. So I've got, obviously I've got my coin purse and I've got my card holder, which you've all seen. I do make sure I have their foreign currency. So I do have that in there as well, just for like any emergencies. And I don't want to get to the country and bother with that. So I do always have you know, exchange, um, exchange the currency or whatever. Um, what else? Yep. Okay. And the last item in my bag is a makeup bag. So this one's from Dior. I've had this for years, so I won't be able to link it down below again. Sorry. Okay. This is full of all fun stuff. Okay. Now I've got a moisturizer by Locatane. I told you I've got a lot of moisturizers. Um, I've got a hand sanitizer, just like a raspberry polymer olive hand sanitizer. I've got a lip balm from Soft Lips and it has Hello Kitty on it. How cute is that? I picked this one up from um, Little Tokyo in LA, so check that out. It was in one of the um, little boutiques that they've got there. Um, and I've got, oh, this is my ride and die, honestly, the Carmex um the Carmex lip moisturizer. I love this lip balm. That's what it's called. So good. Get on it if you've got dry lips. Perfect. I've got Panadol. I've got Tylenol. This was bought in the States again. We don't have that in Australia. I've got eye drops for dry eyes. Yep. I wasn't joking. <laughs> I've got another moisturizer. This one's um, really hydrating and nourishing. It's from Molten Brown and it has like a lavender um, smell to it. So yeah, it's beautiful. Love this. Um, I've got a MAC powder, just, you know, the MAC Studio powder just to touch up and whatnot. I've used that quite a bit. And yeah, that's the thing. So that's really convenient. A um, couple other items. I've got a packet of chewing gums. Need that. I've got, you know, panel for headaches or whatnot. I've got a nail filer, which is necessary. <laughs> Essential number one. I've got a pen, which we need. This is really cool. This is from mm, the Sofitel. I stole this from my hotel, <laughs> as I do. I've got another hair tie, and I've got. Okay, I've got three perfume samples. Ooh. I've got three perfume samples. So this one's um, Miss Dior, which I love. So good. Um, this is another Miss Dior. Oops. Okay, that's gone. Um, and this is from Salvatore Fergamo. So I'm just going to spray. 
yeah, always want to smell fresh on the plane. I wouldn't really spray perfume when I'm sitting on the aircraft just because it's, I don't want to knock people out. Um, with, you know, some people get quite nauseous with perfume, so I wouldn't actually do that. But once I'm like refreshing up and, you know, ready to leave and whatnot, get off the plane, um, yeah, I would obviously freshen up and put on perfume and all that. So, yeah. Um, so there's that. That's all that's in my carry-on handbag. So, yeah, here's the um, Gucci. And it is quite, it fits quite a bit. I could fit, like, a ton of other things. Um, I usually would buy a book and I'd buy a Vogue magazine once I'm at the airport. I would also do that. Um... And also, I do have another bag that I use to carry on, just like the four-wheeler um, little luggages, like the mini luggage. So usually what I put in there is I put um, a change of clothes, and I also put um, my laptop and all those cable things, and I do put some of my bags in there as well, just like handbags. So yeah, that's another thing. I'll leave it there for today. Um, thank you all for subscribing and for your lovely comments. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.